Hey everybody, welcome, my name is Brendan and today we're going to unbox and initially review the Apple Watch single loop strap. You know, the one that just doesn't have an attachment or at least that's how it looks. Anyway, let's dive straight in. So this arrived, I've actually opened the cardboard box already. As noted in a previous video, it does come with a very nice uh, opening functionality. It just means you don't need scissors. Well, that can only be a good thing. So upon opening, first impressions are, again, you get very nice packaging. It just fits in the box. There's no superfluous paper. You know, unlike if you order from Amazon, you get this friggin' enormous box and then heaps of paper in the inside and then this tiny little, little package. So, you know what, here we are. Let's have a look. I've gone for a relatively bold yellow strap uh, to complement the Apple Watch SE that I had. So I've been wearing this about, can you see that? Yeah, looks pretty good, won't come on. Obviously, there we go. Um, I've been wearing this about three months now, bought it, obviously, whatever three months ago is, and got it with a black strap, which I think looks pretty cool. Very comfortable. I had the very first Series 1, which was great, but it just began to get a little bit slow. So I thought I would treat myself. I've got some of the other Apple ecosystems, so why not? Getting back to the watch strap, let's take it out. This is very exciting. Conscious with it coming up to Christmas, a number of you may be looking to get some Christmas presents or hopefully receive one yourself. And if you've been thinking around is it worth buying a new watch strap? Because I know that they can be reasonably pricey. I think this one retails at about £49. Please don't tell that to anybody because I was given this as a present. So obviously we don't like talking about money, especially if we're British. So anyway, getting back to it. Very nice packet, very well put together. If we just open it on here, we'll see that there's a tag that you can pull it open on and it just slides out very nicely into the bifold uh, packaging. There are instructions on the inside, which is quite unusual. If you'll have a look, most Apple electronic products ship without instructions. Did you realize that? iPads, no instructions. MacBook Air, bought one last week, no instructions. iMac, no instructions. Just goes to show how intuitive all of the Apple products are and fundamentally uh, how well they're made because if you don't need instructions, it means that people will know what to do. Whether that's a good thing or not in society, who knows. Anyway, so getting back to it, this is how it how it arrives. Um, looks pretty cool. It's got a little tag here that you just pull out and as you pull it out, it um, pops oh, as well. So first impressions, the silicon is super soft, oh my word. But then if you've been wearing an Apple Watch, you probably know that unless you've had one of the braided bands or one of the metal straps that you've upgraded to. But this, God, it even smells new. Not quite sure whether smelling it is a weird thing or not, but I'd encourage you to try it. One thing to note is it is actually made of one piece. So we'll just look at how we add it to the watch shortly. One thing you will notice is on the inside, and it probably won't focus, but it tells you what size strap it is. So I've got a 44 mil, and this is a 44 mil watch strap. The other end is it gives you a number. I don't know whether that's going to focus in or not. Maybe not, but what it does is it says number eight. So as you go through and try to decide which watch strap you want, you'll have to decide from a number and the number goes from one to, I don't know, whatever it is, 20 odd. Um, but one of the ways that Apple suggests that you do it is to cut out a piece of paper, wrap it around your wrist and uh, try it. So we originally went for a nine and uh, tried a friends on and actually that was too big. So we're trying an eight this time round. Let's have a look and see how it fits. So you know what, first impressions, love it. I've gone for a bright yellow color, ta-da! I think that will be quite nice. So just in case you haven't changed a watch strap before, obviously just pop it off and this is the normal way that we deal with it. You will see that there are, oh gosh, this is very, very dirty. On the underside of the watch, there are a couple of points that you push in. If you just push it in with your nail and slide it to one side, obviously doing it now is a little bit tricky, but it just slides out. So there we go, nice and easy. Do the same on the bottom half, just so slide it out, and therefore you end up just with your Apple Watch as it is. I mean, it's a pretty cool bit of kit anyway. So as we add the new watch strap, and slide that one in, 
and we'll just slide the second one in here. So there you go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hopefully you can all see that and it brings up the passcode. So how does it feel when we put it on? Well, let's have a look. Just trying to wedge it on. It feels a bit like putting on one of those swimming locker keys. Do you remember when you were little and you'd have to put it on and you'd then try not to stab yourself in the eye or, or in the chest when you're, when you're swimming along? But that's it. So I'll just show you. It seems to fit pretty well. Um, I like it with a little bit of give and a little bit of movement so it doesn't feel too tight. But first impressions? Pretty good. God, I, I could get used to this. I don't know whether you like the yellow, whether it's your taste, but I think it's a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a nice contrast. So there we are. There's the Apple Watch single loop strap. Uh, this is a 44 mil. Uh, it's a size eight and you'll just need to go in and make sure that you've got the right size for you. Apple are really good at being able to send back products if you've got the wrong size. Obviously just make sure that you haven't worn it and done all that sort of stuff. Otherwise they may question it in due course. But that's it. That's the unboxing and initial feeling slash review of the single loop watch strap. Uh, highly recommend it. I think it's going to be a great addition to the watch strap clan. I can imagine that I might get a red one in due course. Probably clashes with the hoodie, so yeah, maybe not. Anyway, that's it. My name is Brendan. Please, as always, uh, push the like button and nudge subscribe. Click the bell because that means that you will get the content the moment it's released. And please, do let me know of any comments, whether you agree, disagree, like the Apple Watch strap, you don't like the Apple Watch strap, whatever it is, please do let me know. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.